Okay, so last lesson we had a look at longshore drift. We're going to look at something that's related to longshore drift, which is beaches, spits and bars. Have a watch of this video, it's really good. It shows you an example of a very famous bar. Um, but don't worry, we'll go into them a little bit more detail um, on this lecture. Um, also, have a look at the example of the Dawlish Warren Nature Reserve. Later on, we'll be asking for you to have a look at your own examples of spits and bars around the UK um, using Google Earth. First of all, um, we'll just remind ourselves about the formation of beaches. Here we can see that we've got constructive waves, and constructive waves, along with longshore drift, will help beaches to form. You might need to go back and have a look at the online lectures and your notes where we looked at longshore drift and the formation of beaches. So we won't go into that in too much detail because you can look back at your notes. What we will have a look at though is the formation of spits and bars. Have a watch of this video. Um, in the video they will talk about how a spit forms in uh, several locations in the UK. There's some great aerial footage for you to actually see what a spit looks like. Um, the key here is those spits form due to longshore drift but it's when the direction of the coastline suddenly changes and the beach basically carries on forming uh, out further on out into the sea itself. Um, this is a nice little diagram. You can see here um, the formation of our spit and you can see a spit is a beach that builds up out into the sea. Um, have a read of the book and look at your video as well. But here's an absolutely fantastic photograph. Um, this is not the UK, um, this is actually Thailand. But you can see here that the beach, you can see the beach is gradually building up. Quite a nice photograph because you can see the shallow water at the end of the spit. So over a period of time, this spit will actually get larger and it will form further and further out in this direction into the sea. Um, click on this link, um, Google Earth, a sperm head in the UK is a excellent, another excellent example of a spit. Occasionally um, when the spit goes all the way across from one end um, of a headland to another we get a uh, we get a bar and one of the most famous examples the favorite of geographers stu uh, students and teachers around the world is Chesil Beach um, here you can see that we've got longshore drift going in this direction and you can see in the photograph um, and if you have a look on Google Maps um, click on this link here for your Google Maps you will see that Chesil Beach is actually a spit that's gone all the way across um, from one headland to the next uh, to form a bar. Behind the bar um, you will see that there is a saltwater uh, lagoon, lagoon and that lagoon um, has lots of swans in and was actually used in the Harry Potter film so if, you, if you're a Harry Potter fan, uh, fan um, you will be familiar with Chesil Beach without even realising it. Um, last of all, just to help you really to understand what's going on, um, please have a watch of this video. This video um, has no soundtrack to it, so it's your job to make a soundtrack to this video, or at the very least to make a transcript to explain the formation of a spit and then later on a bar. Remember this is the spit and in the video when the spit forms all the way across from headland number one to headland number two um, we are going to get our bar and then behind it we're going to have the salt water marsh uh, behind it. Um, just remember that's pretty much a computer simulation of what's happening with Chesil Beach. Um, Please, I would suggest that you make your notes about this as a transcript um, using our one of our favourite websites, which is videonot.es. Remember, make sure that you are signed into IELTS to do this, and it will automatically save that uh, your your transcript to that. Um, you can also add your own um, dialogue to this um, using YouTube. To do that, you will need to download this video. 
and add your own dialogue to the video to explain what's going on. That would be very useful. Um, another way to do it would be to download the video and in YouTube to add your own annotations to explain what's going on step by step. Okay, so help, hope um, this short lecture, online lecture, has helped you to understand the formation of bars and spits. Remember, these are land, uh, coastal landforms that are associated with deposition.